You had a show on TV called called Dating in the Dark. <laughs> and I thought it was exploitative then. You know, you just had a darkened room, infrared cameras, you would unleash young, optimistic single people. People are not like, I remember that show, yes. Yeah, you'd unleash them in the dark, you know, narrators would be going, Ooh, here comes Jeff. He's Wandering, oh, Sally's turned the corner here. Oh, they're getting close. And then a sexual assault would vaguely happen <laughs> in the darkness. And then the narrators would go, there we go. We have contact. They've won a dinner for two at some restaurant that we've invented. <laughs> a date. That was a dating show. I, I couldn't conceive of how you could outdo yourselves. And now I'm back on your rainy islands and you have a show called Naked Attraction. <laughs> you cruel, you're applauding yourselves for your cruelty right now. You take human beings, formerly with dignity, you wouldn't even get to wear that fucking thing, I tell you right now. Formerly with dignity, and you throw them in different colored perspex boxes. What? You're, you're not going on the show now. You're, you're, you're welcome to wear it. They sound really disappointed. It's almost like you're a little beacon of hope. Well, I stand up here and talk about naked people, and now I feel guilty, and I shouldn't. Because I'm describing one of the cruelest shows I've ever been. If it was made in Canada, it would be like judge them by their dress sense or something. You know, the box would slide up and the person would be like, ooh, I like their shoes and their socks. Not you guys. Dude, is, have you seen this show, my man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I d did not expect such glee to come over your face. When I asked you this, yeah, holy cow, man. Picker comes out, the host is like, are you ready to meet the love of your life? He's like, I can't wait. She goes, Un unveil the genitals. <laughs> and it slides up. It's like, oh, I could date that penis. <laughs> and not TV-ready genitalia. Can we all agree on that? This doesn't seem to be a case of, ooh, I booked Naked Attraction a month from now. I've got plenty of time to go get fit, look good when I'm on camera, eat well for the next few weeks, lose a couple pounds. No, it seems to be I booked Naked Attraction in the morning. <laughs> Maybe I'll hit the tanning salon three times in the next 12 hours and go get that ill-advised knob piercing nobody needs to see on national TV at tea time! <laughs> at tea time, you insane people! <laughs> Calling it educate, but it's educate, it is educational, fuck you! <laughs> it's mean, man. Tea time. There are people arriving in this country on holiday from other countries, children in tow. Checking into the travel lodge, <laughs> eventually getting the key to work, propping the kids up on the bed, sending one parent out to get fish and chips, and then they say to the children, we're going to go to Legoland in the morning, kids, but for now, let's see what the British watch <laughs> at 8 p.m. <laughs> on a Tuesday night. And then boom, balls and boobs. <laughs> I can't figure out how you can outdo yourselves. The only thing I can think is the next level of the show is going to have to involve contact. Or you're going to have to have a dude just blindfolded <laughs> sitting there with the host. Like, you ready to meet the love of your life? Yes, miss. Talk today. Let's do this. And then, and then he just had uh, I have to get a penis on the wrist or something. <laughs> oh, I like him.
I said, tit on the head. Ah, she seems nice. You can totally take her home to dad. <laughs>